Tourism officials are calling for a last-ditch effort to fight off funding cuts. As state lawmakers today are expected to finalize the state budget. And right now, Visit Florida faces a proposed 67% cut in its funding. News 13's Jerry Hume is following the developments. And Jerry, so under this proposal, Visit Florida's budget would go from $76 million down to just $25 million. And Caitlin, state lawmakers say they want to put an end to slush funds, corporate negligence, and secret insider deals at Visit Florida. But some local area attraction owners are worried concerned cuts to Visit Florida would hurt their bottom line. This is Buddy. Buddy. Buddy, come here. Come here, buddy. Mark McHugh says it's a busy time at Gatorland. So the Gator's going to listen to you. Yeah, they know their names. Isn't that great? The president and owner of the iconic park in South Orange County is preparing for the summer travel season. Hey, buddy. And Gatorland's largest expansion ever, complete with buggies, $2.5 million set to open this fall. We need visitors coming here to help us recover the investments that we and, and other attractions around Central Florida are making huge investments in their businesses. We need people coming here. But in order to get visitors, McHugh says he needs Florida, the state-run tourism agency that markets the Sunshine State to the rest of the country and world. The Florida House of Representatives is proposing deep cuts to the agency. What would cuts to visit Florida mean for Gatorland? Oh, it, it would be very, very serious to us. Uh, we depend on, on Visit Florida, Visit Orlando, and Experience Kissimmee, the destination marketing organizations, to bring guests to Central Florida. Look at this. It's why this family traveled here from Quebec in Canada. We found out with the pamphlets, and uh, it seems pretty amazing. But House Speaker Richard Corcoran says Visit Florida's budget has shot up 169% since 2009. Everywhere we see waste, every door we open up and say, tell us what you're doing, tell us your rate of return, tell us how efficiently you've been spending spending taxpayer money, and we find waste in all these different corners. At Gatorland, two-thirds of their visitors are either from out of state or out of the country. McHugh says that's thanks to Visit Florida. We're able to get our brand out to the international markets, uh, the, the domestic markets before they get here, get a little taste of Gatorland, tease them a little bit. We could never afford to do that without Visit Florida. Scott wants to boost Visit Florida funding this year up to $100 million. The lawmakers appear to be set at $25 million. We should find out the final official number later today. Live in the studio, Jerry Hume, News 13.